So how does Grok 2 compare to other image generators? Let's start off with a fun prompt to share with all of them and see what, what well, what they produce. All right, here we go. Let's see. All right. Okay. Now, very realistic. And this is something that I've noticed with Grok is that the models, the people are very realistic and usually with a nice variety of looks. So let's take our prompt and go to some other platforms. Let's go to Midjourney. Same prompt. What does Midjourney give us? All right, interesting, but not really what I was looking for. And you know, I've noticed this a lot with Midjourney. Midjourney has not been showing faces. Not that it won't. Here's a recent prompt that I did. Fashion model with purple gloves walking down a city street. And yes, you can see people, but two of them, you can't see the face. And here, all four are that way. And sometimes I feel like I have to fight with Midjourney. But Midjourney does have a number of tools that will help you refine what you're looking for. But we're not going to explore that right now. That'll be another video. Here's Canva. We have to remember that Canva actually uses Leonardo, which we'll look at next. They're kind of hyper-realistic, but not photorealistic. Let's take a look at Leonardo, which has that infinite scroll that's very helpful. Now, Leonardo has some style cues here, but we didn't implement any of them. And here's the thing. We can take one of these. Oh my goodness, what happened there? We can take the one that works for us and ask for more like this. And here we go. And we might want it to be more photorealistic. So let's put photorealistic and hit it again. And if you've not seen my video on Leonardo's flow state, I, ch I recommend you check that video out. Here we go. Nice variety, a few are a little strange, but you can certainly see the advantage of this option. Next, let's head on over to Dolly 3. And per usual, Dolly 3 is a hyper-realistic look, but not photorealistic, but certainly a nice image. Here's Microsoft's designer image generator. Yeah, looks like it's probably Dolly 3 that they're using. Very similar. And here we are at Adobe Firefly. We don't talk about this one very much, but I think this is an important platform because you're allowed to use these images commercially. And here we go. And I never specified male or female. And obviously Adobe has made that decision. I believe Adobe is going to be one of the solid players and I'll certainly do some reviews coming soon. So what do you think? You forgot who we were comparing it to, right? Grok. I think Grok has the most realistic people, such as everyday people. I think Midjourney kind of failed. Canva did a good job using the Leonardo system. Leonardo does a great job just because you have such an opportunity to refine your image to get exactly what your vision is. Dolly does what Dolly does, hyper-realistic. And Microsoft did the same thing, probably using Dolly 3. And lastly, highly creative Adobe. If you don't give it enough information, it will certainly go cutting edge on you there, I guess. <laughs> or not make the assumptions that you had in your head. But that's the case with any AI. If you give it room to assume, it quite often will. Which is your favorite image AI generator? Let me know in the comments below. And of course, we'll talk creative AI on the Creative AI Show every Monday, where we are two creative guys talking AI.